When applying the MBBR process from wastewater treatment plants to fish farming water treatment systems, you can refer to the following approach, add this type of biomedia to the container. Due to its density being close to water, it will be in a fully mixed state with the water when aeration is sufficient. If the media cannot roll smoothly, it can be moved by the water flow. The media in this case is Aquasust MBBR05. Different types of microorganisms attach to the surface of the media, with anaerobic or facultative bacteria growing inside and aerobic bacteria on the outside. The suspended biomedia is called a moving biofilm because it frequently and repeatedly comes into contact with wastewater. Simply put, these plastic particles are used to cultivate bacteria for wastewater treatment. In the video, we can see the MBBR media appears slightly yellowish, which is a normal change, caused by bacterial attachment. Typically, the bacteria attachment is quite stable, playing a role in wastewater treatment. As the bacteria age, they are shed by the water flow, which is referred to as sloughing off. This is why using a fluidized bed reduces maintenance, as it doesn't require manual cleaning. The daily water flow keeps it relatively clean. In the video, the fluidized bed filtration is driven by water flow combined with aeration, and only the clear water overflowing from the top of the sedimentation tank enters the fluidized bed. Is the fluidized bed biomedia effective in treating wastewater from fish farming? The video shows an uncleaned fish tank, which still appears relatively clean, indicating that the fluidized bed media does indeed have some effect in treating fish farming wastewater. If you have any questions or needs regarding the product or anything else, feel free to contact me.